very first mobile column in 1969, Colonel Retired Go Lai Chu. Leading the column, the Leopard 2SG is Singapore's very own main battle tank, equipped with awesome firepower, mobility and armored protection. Our Leopards spearhead the Army's land maneuvers, dominating the battlefield with their speed and precision. Each tank is operated by a four-man crew. It is said that the best tank in the world is the one with the best crew. Following closely behind the Leopard 2 SG is the Bionics 2 armored fighting vehicle developed locally by ST Engineering. It is equipped with a 30mm cannon and can carry up to 8 troopers and other variants equipped with a heavy machine gun and automatic grenade launcher. Next up is the versatile Bronco All-Terrain Tracks Carrier designed to maneuver through various types of terrain for field and urban operations. The Bronco comes in several variants to meet a whole range of operational demands. Following behind the Bronco, the Terex Infantry Carrier Vehicle provides infantry troopers with enhanced mobility, protection and firepower enabling them to maneuver to the battlefield quickly and safely. Behind the Terex is the Light Strike Vehicle Mark II from the Guards. They're equipped with lethal weapons like anti-tank missiles and grenade launchers. Up next are Army Intelligence Troopers. They deploy the mini UAV to collect information on the battlefield. Now leading the artillery formation, we have the high mobility artillery rocket system. Each of its GPS guided missiles can achieve an accuracy of 10 meters and can be fired up to a maximum range of 70 kilometers. Next up, we have the Combat Engineers. Leading the packet is the brand new Armored Engineer Vehicle, which ensures that no obstacle stands in the way of our Army. Other assets from the Combat Engineers include the Armored Vehicle Launch Bridge that enables heavy vehicles like the Leopards to cross wide gaps. The Trailblazer, a countermine vehicle and the M3G float bridge, which ferries forces across water bodies. Rounding off this packet are our chemical, biological, radiological and explosive forces, capable of an immediate response to chemical and biological incidents. From the signals formation, these vehicles facilitate communication between different units on the battlefield. The SATCOM vehicle is critical for transmitting data on the moon. Now leading the Combat Service Support Command, we have the Tracked Maintenance Task Vehicle. It facilitates the repair of all our armored vehicles. Following closely behind are the Wheeled Maintenance Task Vehicle, the Fuel Tanker, and the Fully Integrated Transport Container. In this packet is also the newly designed combat ambulances that will support both peacetime and operational requirements. Next up we have the ground-based air defense assets from the Republic of Singapore Air Force. These air defense systems like the Igla and Spider, as well as IHOP deployed missiles to destroy hostile aircraft. Rounding up the first segment, we have the Sergeant Major of this year's mobile column, Master Warrant Officer Chai Hai Tong. 